Hi guys, Jamie here and welcome back to Upload. Now today we're talking about comfort on the Oculus Quest. But one of the big problems we've seen time and time again with the device is people talking about its comfort and its audio. In terms of comfort, Quest is a very front heavy device. I've actually got a little mod on the back of mine right now, which is just some counterweights, which works okay. But one of the coolest things we've seen time and time again, but not actually checked out ourselves is something called the Franken Quest mod. Now that's been built as a really simple, easy little mod that uses this guy. Uh, this is the HTC Vive, believe it or not, deluxe audio strap. It was a peripheral that released in the days of the original Vive, um, designed to give Vive users better comfort and better audio with these kind of snap-on headphones we have here. You don't need to actually permanently alter the body of your Quest in any way. So let's go over some of the things you're going to need for this. Now obviously what we've talked about already is the Oculus Quest. Like I said, very simple, same Oculus Quest that everyone else has, I just have this on the back but that's not something to worry about for you guys. Uh, also yes, the deluxe audio strap, order that from HTC, maybe find it on eBay. So the last three things that we have here are all pretty general items, you'll be able to find them on Amazon or anything like that quite easily, but there are a couple of specifics you'll need to get right for this particular mod. So starting off, um, we have some industrial strength Velcro straps. Now you're gonna make sure that you get some pretty heavy duty stuff for this because it's going to attach your audio strap to your Quest. So it's very important that it stays on at all times and you don't, you know, lose a VR headset in the middle of a VR session. That would not be good. Next up, we've just got some Velcro ties. We're only gonna need one, but you know, I ordered it off Amazon and a million came. The specific thing to note about these is you're going to need this plasticky bit here to be one inch in size. That's something you have to get right. Uh, for this thing to fit with your quest. Finally, again, we've just got some D-rings. Um, again, I actually only needed one of these, but I ordered them for dirt cheap on Amazon and got a whole bunch of them, so if you need a spare D-ring, let me know. The first thing to do with the Franken Quest is to take this bit of your quest on either side, the Velcro straps, and take them off and get them through here. Now, I've been told this is the trickiest bit, but still not that tricky, and you're not gonna end up damaging your quest even though you might worry that you might. So let's let's see how this one goes. Take that, which is nice and easy, and then pull it through. This is gonna feel like you're breaking it maybe a bit. I'm a bit worried about it personally, but I've been told it's fine, so we're just gonna, oh, there you go. Easy as that, <laughs> comes out just like that. But we've still got a little bit left in there that we kinda need to get through. Ooh, that was scary. It looks like it's not broken. It's gonna be okay, I think. Don't worry, it's all good. Right, so we gotta do the second side. If you're watching this through your, uh, through your fingers, I apologize, but I swear it's okay. Again, we'll just push down on this bit. Come on. There we go, so there's that bit out again. And just kind of wiggle it through. Yes. Easy as that. Okay, that actually went a little easier than I thought it was going to, which is very relieving. So obviously we've got to get the top strap off as well, but the faceplate is in the way, so the next thing to do is actually take off the Quest's faceplate. Which I also believe is easy to do. Oh yeah, it's just coming off just like that. As you can tell, I've not really experimented with dismantling my Quest before, but anyway, look, simple as that. Now all we've got to do for this bit is just take this off. And yeah, this is going to take a little bit of a battle, but not much. Ugh, there you go. Right. This. Don't need it anymore. Done. Finished. Finito. Wave goodbye to it. And look at that. This is an Oculus Quest. The next thing to do is to take your deluxe audio strap and get Velcro, sticky Velcro, fitted to these two bits here and here. Now, you know, if you're looking ahead at this, you can probably see where we're going with this. Velcro still lined along this side of the Oculus Quest. Velcro here, add them together. Hopefully it's gonna work, we'll find out. Okay, so I've ordered a lot of really big Velcro that I'm gonna to need to cut into strips, so we can do that now. Holy heck, that is a lot of Velcro. So what do we have? We have, obviously, you gotta know your Velcro when you're doing this. Don't use the lovely fuzzy side because that's what's already on the quest. Don't be an idiot, don't do that. I would probably do that if I hadn't thought of it earlier. Let's see if I get this in one go, shall we? Okay, now if we fit that to there, that's probably gonna be a little too big so we can just take a little bit more off. And we'll probably take it just a little bit off the side as well save myself a lot of weighing up again next time I'm just going to cut my second piece off now. Oh 
Okay. Sure that was really thrilling to watch. So, easy bit now, hopefully. This is like when you had to put football stickers in an album when you were a kid. I was really, really bad at it. Now, it's, I've got a little no bin sign here. Uh, I guess that means you can't recycle it. Now that I'm covering up the bin sign, I don't think that's true anymore. I think you can recycle it now. Ugh, there we go, don't need you. Okay, so, last little bit to line up. Okay, that's nice. Strong on both sides, don't think that's going anywhere. Okay, so there we go, that's two sticky sides to a Vive Deluxe audio strap. How about that, that was pretty simple to do. Now we're not done, we're far from done, but I do just want to quickly attach these two bits and see how it looks because I've been looking forward to doing this for some time. So what we do is we take one side here and just fit it on. Seems surprisingly sturdy. Whoa, that's, do that's going a lot better than I thought it would. Let's take the second side. Oh. Hey, look at that. That's looking pretty good already, isn't it? Not bad. Not bad at all. Now obviously one of the really, really cool things about the Vive uh, Deluxe Audio Strap is that it has this little audio jack right here. Nice and simple to plug it into your Quest and you'll get some really nice crystal clear audio through your Quest as soon as you turn this on, hopefully. There we go, it looks pretty natural already. It looks like I haven't even really modded it in any way. It's quite surprising how natural of a fit this is. The next thing we have to do is take our cable ties and make sure that our over the head bit is gonna fit comfortably and snugly on the top of our heads, otherwise, it's just going to fall off around your neck and look like a really, really weird fashion statement. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take these. These are our cable ties. Like I said before, you need a one inch cable tie. I've got a Velcro tie with Velcro on the same side. You can also see as we're going to be making a loop with these, get one on the other side, but it won't matter if you get this side either. You can work with this. So, the next thing to do is get this out of the way. We don't want this here. Oh, go away. And we are going to thread the top hard Velcro bit through. Up you come, slide through there. It's coming through pretty easily. There you go. Oh, look at that, beautiful. And just like that, just like that, it's connected, hooray. So the next thing we're going to need is the last piece of the puzzle, our D-ring. that nice and simple so now it's time for this to get out of the way for a second while we take the d-ring take the top of the deluxe audio strap push it through and just connect it with the book next up we take our unofficial cable tie and we poke the uh, plastic strap through and what we're gonna do pretty easily is take the hard velcro a bit through, thread it up a bit more, and then just touch it like that. And just like that, we have not a yet completed Franken Quest, because I thought it was, but it's not. We need something I threw on the floor, one second. What we're gonna do is just quickly fit this back in. Simple as that. There you go, we have what is meant to be a completed Frankenquest. I've got to say, it's been really, really easy to install. Um, I'm going to tinker around with it a bit now, make sure I can get the right size on my head, otherwise this was all kind of for nothing. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with how easy this was to do. And like I said, I have no experience with modding hardware. I'm terrified of it. And I've done it pretty easily. And most importantly, I haven't hurt the original model of the Oculus Quest in any way. There's nothing being added to it, nothing been too forcibly removed from it. Uh, and now I'm going to hopefully get on and enjoy some more comfortable and better audio VR. And just as I'd hoped, the Franken Quest enhances my overall experience in the Quest. Make sure to subscribe for more VR hardware tutorials and comment below on what else you'd like to see from us. Here's one I made earlier. Another little Blue Peter reference for you there. If you're in the US, Google Blue Peter.